Greetings commanders and welcome. As I said in the beginning of the year, I'm renewing the know-how videos if they are outdated. Today I'm going to do the how to use a detailed surface scanner. It's a three year old video. It has uh, 15,000 views. Even today there are still new commanders watching this video weekly. So it is still very active, but it's outdated. So here is how to use the detail surface scanner version 2024. Let's start by putting the detail surface scanner on the ship. Right now I'm in my carrier, but it works exactly the same as in a station. Go to outfitting, select optional internals. The detail surface scanner is always a class one, so you can put it in the smallest internal compartment. In outfitting, if a station has one, it will always be down below. This is a normal one, like you can buy it in station, but this one I engineered it. So you can engineer the, the detail surface scanner to cover more range. For instance, if you're mapping a gas giant and it will require 10 probes, you can do it in six or seven if you place the probes pretty good. That is also uh, in interesting for exploration because you get more payout. The less probes you use, the better the payout. So let's put it on our ship and now I will show you how it works. Once you install the detail surface scanner, go to options, controls, ship controls. All the way down, you will find detail surface scanner. You need to give those a binding. So for instance, to look at the back of the planet, if you, uh, you still need to probe over there, then an exit mode to come out of the detail surface scanner, and then to move uh, around the planet to be able to shoot the probes where you want. So you have to give all this a binding. The second binding you have to do is on your right up on the fire group. On top here, you see surface scanner. The D scanner is when you enter a system and you use that one, it will scan the bodies in the system. But the detail surface scanner is for mapping planets, gas giants and rings. So we're going to give it a binding and then we're going to fly out to use the scanner. When you arrive at the object you want to scan, if it's too far, the detail surface scanner will tell you out of range. Or if you're moving, still flying in super cruise, it will tell you too fast. So to be able to scan it, you have to be in super cruise, but at zero throttle. Another thing, if you never used a scanner before, there are two modes. You have combat mode, that is to be able to use your weapons, but you need to be in analysis mode. And that is again something in the bindings, options, control, ship control, mode switching, and down below, you see switch co cockpit mode that is also needs a binding to be able to go from analysis to combat mode. If that is all set, then you can do it like I'm doing switch. Um, so you have given the binding. Now you pull the trigger on which binding you give it here. In my case, the one and see now you can go around if you have the correct bindings. So let's probe the ring. The probes are unlimited. It's not like you have five or 10. You can use as many probes as you want. So that is for the ring. So now it will give me the hotspots in the ring. Let's take the internal ring. A lot of hotspots over there. And this is for the gas giant. But this is a very big gas giant. Uh, on the right you see 22 probes. So it should take 22 probes to map this gas giant. But as I said in the beginning, if you engineer the probes, it goes way faster. This is the same principle with a planet. If you're looking for point of interest on a planet, a crashed ship, uh, crushed uh, SRV or exobiological plants or whatnot. That is how you use the detailed surface scanner. On the left down, you see 31%. percent 
if you arrive at 85% of uh, the planet or gas giant, it will jump to 100%. That means you fully mapped the planet or gas giant. Come back out of the detailed surface scanner and then on the left you will see in this case what the hotspots are or if it's a planet you just mapped it will tell you what point of interest you can find on the planet like i said a crashed ship a crashed uh, srv or maybe a ground base or something it will all be here so just pick this hotspot to see where it is so that if you're interested in, in those materials you need to go to that hotspot over there just to show you the difference between a gas giant and a planet i just mapped this planet and now on top right you see three geological and five humans so there are five settlements on this uh, planet but there are also three geologicals that can be bark mounds or other geological sites and if you want to know where they are just fly to the green where it is the most green on the planet that will be the location to find what they are saying which geological or um, in other cases biological on the other hand this planet also has a, a crash site that is something you will never find if you don't have the detailed surface scanner on board because it will not show up if you fly close to the planet so let's take a look at what this is and this is the location so we have a small launchable fighter that crashed here there are some crates uh, on the ground that you can collect items for engineering um, if you are in a dark side on the planet use your night vision that is located under your ship uh, ship tab here you see night vision off on you can also give it a binding anyway that is another topic so that is how the detailed surface scanner you uh, works a site like this you will never be able to find if you do not have the detailed surface scanner on your ship thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video